Hey guys, my name is Kirsty, and welcome to my March book haul. So, for those of you who don't already know, I gave up buying books for Lent. Now, you're probably thinking, well then why has she filmed a book haul if she's given up buying books? Well, that's because before March, about in December, I pre-ordered all of my books for 2018 and a few of those books that I pre-ordered were coming out in March. Obviously those books arrived at my doorstep in March. It doesn't mean that I brought them in March, it just means I pre-ordered them and they arrived. So I haven't broken my Lent. I have done it. I have succeeded. And I don't know whether to be happy or sad that there is literally four books. This is the smallest book haul that I have ever, ever done. I can't remember the last time in my 22 years of living that I only brought four books in a month. So, without any further ado, because this is going to be a really short video anyway, let's get into my book haul. So the first book that came through the mail in March was Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. I also did pre-order the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition but that's not going to arrive for another few weeks yet because of shipping and all of that malarkey. But uh, the paperback version did arrive and I haven't read it yet. I know that everyone's read it because it's like one of the most highly anticipated books of this year and as soon as everyone got it in the post or brought it from the shops they read it. I didn't because I'm just different and difficult like that. I do really want to get around to it very very soon. I've heard loads of people say that it's like their new favourite book which is really exciting. The cover is absolutely gorgeous. We've got the spine the back there. I'm very very happy to have this one finally. The second book that arrived in the mail was Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and this is the third and final book in the Illuminate files. I also have all of the audiobooks for the series as well because I've heard that listening to the audiobook whilst like physically reading the book is a really good way to consume it. I haven't read the first or second book which is Illuminate and Gemina. I haven't read them yet. I'm really behind. But at least I've got all three now so I can binge read slash listen to them. The third book that came was Nevermore by Jessica Townsend and I think this is the first book in a series, I'm not 100% sure. It's a middle grade series, it's about this, I feel really weird saying child because I'm not really that old myself. I don't know how old she is. I think she's about nine or 10 because the blurb says that she's cursed and destined to die on her 11th birthday. Things aren't going right for Morrigan Crow, are they? If she's destined to die on her 11th birthday, which is very, very young. But this is a middle grade fantasy and I do prefer the US cover to this UK one but what can you do? I don't really buy the US covers for middle grade novels only for like YA. I really do want to start reading more middle grade novels just because they tend to be really really good. That's never more. And then the fourth and final book that I received in the mail this month was Reflection and this is by Elizabeth Lim and it is the fourth book in the Twisted Tales collection so it's basically like companion novels to Disney stories. This is a book about what if Mulan had to travel to the underworld and I love Mulan, I love Disney, I've got all the other three in the series, I haven't read them yet, story of my life basically but because this was a new one that's coming out it's a different author as well and it's about Mulan, I couldn't resist in getting it. So that's it. That's my book haul for March. I can't believe that it's only seven minutes long so when I edit it it's going to be like five minutes or something. I can't believe how short this book haul is. That is absolutely insane. But you know what? It didn't take long to film. It's not going to take long to edit and those are the type of videos that I love. So that was my March book haul. What books did you buy in March? 
let me know in the comments box below. I may have a few more books in the next book haul. I think I want to try and keep spending to the minimum on books because it's actually felt quite good to look at my bank account and not see funds deplete because of book buying habits. So I want to try and keep to this kind of giving up books thing, like a book ban I guess. But we'll see, I've got a lot of books pre-ordered for April so that's going to be fun. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!